Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku for Thursday, March 21st, 2024. And right off the bat, I can put a 6 in two spots in row 3. That's the only repeat digit I get. Uh, in the middle of three rows, 1946827397. Well, I literally have one. Okay, I can place a nine in one of two spots in row five, but that's it. In the bottom three rows, there's a one, but that's the only repeat. If I go by vertical scanning, this one and this one in columns one and two, along with this one in row three, is going to place the one in box one right there, since I have one, two, three other ones looking into it. This one and this one now force a one in one of those three. In box three, row two, um, this six and this six in columns one and two will force a six in one of two spots in row three. Eight is in one of two spots in column three, and I meant to say column three, not row three for the sixes. Okay, six, eight, one, eight, one, six, eight, one, six, I'm done. Yeah, I think I'm done. Okay, the middle three columns, there's a one, there's a one in columns five and six. A one goes in column four in one of two places, which I also could have figured out by this one looking down and this one looking over, leaving only two spots for it in box five. Uh, without the one, I've got nine, four, eight, two, seven, six. I'm done. In the rightmost columns, I can place a five right there, actually. Fives are in columns 8 and 9. There's only one space left in column 7. And as far as a 3, I can place a 3 in one of two spots in column 9 based on where they are in 7 and 8. 6, 4, 9, I'm done. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, that's interesting. Okay. So one looks down and one looks over. So one's in one of these two spots. Six in box five can't go here, so six also goes there. That's a hidden one-six pair, because one and six are in the same two spots. That means these two are a pair, and this must be three, because this cell must be three. This cell cannot be. The only other digit that's left to place is a five. It goes there. Three and five have... Okay. Um, this five and this five... Force a five on one of those two in row four. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, five, six. I need four, seven, eight, nine in column six. And this happens to see four, eight, nine. This can only be seven. So these three cells are a triple. They are 4, 8, 9, of which that's any of them, and that's not 8. The 7 and this 7 combine to force a 7 in one of those two in column 4, based on where they are in 5 and 6. Uh, let's see. Two and eight both look in here, but two and eight are in two of those three cells. That doesn't help us any. Okay, one and four out of these two. So one and four are in two of these three cells. Two and eight are in two of those three. One, four, two, seven, eight. Seven can go in both of these, or these, but this cannot be seven, so that configuration is now complete. One, three, four, six, nine. I need two, five, seven, and eight for row four. And I can clear out one digit apiece from those cells. These, I have too many options these well actually 
cannot be 1. They all see 3, 5, 7, 9, and none of these can be 1. So they are strictly even digits. Neither of those can be 6, 8. Well, I'll be. That's a 2, 4 pair, so this can't be 2 or 4. That's not 2, and that's not 2, because 2, 4 pair also affects the row and the column. And that's not 2 or 4, so that's down to 1 or 8. So there's a hidden 1, 6, 8 triple. I get nothing useful here, do I? 1, 2, 4. And that's it as far as place data is in box 4. Yeah. So 3, 5, 6. Well, it's three. It sees 3 and 6 by column, 5 by row. And it also sees 8 and 9. How about that? That's a hidden 7. I'll take it. So this is 7. That's a 5. So that's an 8. That's 6. 1, 6. Okay, this is now a 1, 4 pair, which makes that cell an 8. 1, 4 pair in row 6. Uh, so these are going to be 3 and 9, strictly. This is 2, 7, and the middle three rows are done. Completely. Uh, 1, 3, 6, 8, 9. 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. I need 2, 4, and 5 to fill out the rest of column 2, and that's going to be a triple of some sort. Okay, what about column 1? 1, 5, 6, 8. I need 2, 3, 4, 7, 9. Well, those aren't 3. Or 7. No, this is 2 thirds of a 2, 4, 9. Does that mean that's a triple? Maybe. Uh, 1, 5, 6, 8. So... Two, three, four, seven, nine. Well, it can't be 9. This is, in fact, the only solve for a 7. Yep. So I discovered the hard way that there's a hidden 249 triple in those three cells in column 1. Okay, this is going to be from 2, 4, 5, and 9, I think. Okay, these are not 1, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those are from 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, well, none of these can be 9. But the fact that this one still can means I can't put a 9 there yet. In fact, every other digit crosses a region. This 2, 4 in row 6 doesn't interact with that 2, 4 in column 3. Oh, well. Well, I need to do vertical scanning the rest of the way, I think. Okay, this is 289. It can't be 1 or 7. And remember, none of these cells in column 7 are 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, this can be anything but 1. So can that. This is 1, 8, or 9. Or indeed 2. One, two, seven, eight, nine, uh, but not one or eight. Okay, well, those two can't be one because of these. This isn't one, and that's not one by placement. The only place for one in column seven is right there. I'll mark this as a hidden digit. Yep, 
these four cells in rows 5 and 7 are in X-wing on 1s. Okay, those cells are 2, 4, 7, 9, and those are the only things left to fill row 1. Nine, that's not four or seven. Okay, I'm missing a digit. These can also be three, can't they? But this isn't, and that certainly could. Okay, now I feel better about that configuration. Column five has one, four, seven, eight. I need two, three, five, six, nine. This isn't three or six. I think that's any of them, though. Nope, not six. That's not nine. Ooh. That's not three, five, or six. That's two or nine. This is two or nine only, and this is two or four only. I wonder if that means something. I'm rapidly running out of options, though. Uh, these cells are not one, three, five, six, seven. That one's not one, three, six, seven, nine. This is two, four, five, or eight. could be a bunch of things. This one, yeah, just one five and whatever column digits are looking at it. In that case, three and nine. In that case, just the eight, because five was already removed. Okay, these three digits are not one, six, seven, nine. Presses read. Uh, do I have a hidden six? I might. Yeah, this six rolls those three cells out. This looks down. This six looks down. Yeah, those six, that six, and that six force a six in one of those two, and this can't be six. So six has been placed in box seven for, or box eight for quite some time, and I failed to notice that it can't be six. So six is forced there. Okay, this is four, six, seven, eight, nine. So th this is one, two, three, five. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, row seven cannot be four, six, seven, eight, nine. They are strictly one, two, three, five, but neither of these cells can be a three, five. So this turns into a one, two. That means this is a three, five. Row seven is complete. One and two means those can't be two. Since these aren't seven, those are six, eight, nine, which will place the seven right there. So those aren't seven. And wouldn't you know it, there's another triple. See, 689 will place that to be 4, won't it? This is 4. That cell is not 4. Neither of those. No, 7's up there. We knew that. I love this. 2489 is a quadruple, but each of the four cells being exactly one pair of digits. Interesting. Okay, well, that's a triple, so four is placed in box seven.
Okay, everything is filled at this point. But that four comes up in column six, nine, two, not two. All kinds of things that aren't two in box three, in addition to that one not being nine. I mentioned that's not two, ooh, that's not two or nine, that, so three is place. Neither of those are three. Three in box two means those aren't three. These aren't nine. Because of a nine in the box. That places the nine at the end of column five. So eight, two, not two or eight. That's a three, five, and that's a three, five, and that's a two, three, five, triple. This six, eight, nine still isn't resolved. Nine comes up here, column five. That's a two, five. So these aren't two or five. Means this is now four, seven, eight, and that's a triple. As is that one. Okay, there should be another deduction that I'm seeing immediately. Uh, okay, I can get rid of seven from there as a corner mark. That doesn't do me any good. Ah, yes. Three can't go here because of that three. It can't go here because of this three. This is a given three looking at, so does that one. This cell here in row three, column nine, is a hidden three. There's nowhere else for it to go. That also places six because of my corner markings, which will place eight, nine, four, seven, and the puzzle has broken because I've got a four, eight here, neither of which I can put in. Okay, that means that this cell here has a problem. Well, okay. So that chain of deductions, there's a problem. Okay, I have to rewind a lot. Yeah. I somehow incorrectly eliminated two from this cell, if the rest of my deductions were correct. This cell has to be two if it can't be four or eight. Now, if this is four, then nine, eight are forced. That one, uh, can this be anything else? Other than two or nine, I don't think so. Nope. Yeah. That's forced to be a two. Three is still placed there. Two, five in the column places a nine, two, four. Neither of those cells are four. That's not two or eight. Yeah, so I've got a three, five here and here, and this three, two, three, five triple in row eight, all interacting with each other. That three, five means, well, actually, 2, 5 means these can't be 2 or 5. On top of, these aren't 3. It's 
not two. I end up with a four seven eight here. This four seven means that's a four seven. Yeah, where does three go? It can't go there. Those threes force a three. One of these. Those have givens. That's a three. It's forced. Well, I've run into a problem here. Uh, four eight there means that's a nine. Eight, four, eight. This is not eight. Okay, so the four seven pair in column four. This four seven, the four in its box, places seven. That's forced to be a six. Places four, seven. Four nine in row two, look over. That's a two. So none of these are. That's the triple, which makes this a two. It's forced. Five is placed. Box two is done. Okay. I th I'm not sure where I made a mistake. Because now this appears to be solving, and I may have incorrectly excluded a digit somewhere. But it appears to be solving itself. Four and column eight places one, four. Four and column eight places two and one. Uh, the two and column one places four and two, which places five, three, five, three, two, nine, five, four, nine, three, seven, two, and there we go. Yeah. Looking at this and solving in real time, I'm not sure where I made a mistake other than potentially incorrectly eliminating digits in box 3 that had me with a 4, 8 in row 2, column 8, neither of which could have gone in. I think I incorrectly assumed this couldn't have been 2 in row 1, column 7, and that's where I made a mistake. But once I fixed that, the rest of it fell apart relatively straightforwardly, and thank you for joining me.